well if you have watched my October makes video or my let's chat video from October as well then you know November is going to be an exceptional month over here on our little corner of the internet inside the hem. <laughs> I have so many fun ideas planned as we gear up for the holiday gift giving season and I feel like even though we're in a pandemic and people might not be seeing each other face to face I feel like gift giving is still going to be as strong if not stronger than ever and handmade gifts especially because you're just feeling like you want that connection with your loved ones so much and there's no better way to do it than making handmade gifts so i am going to be doing a bunch of those in november as well as making a few garments along the way so let me tell you about my plans for november also though before i jump in if you're a regular and watch the channel a bunch, have you seen this dress? Have I modeled this for you guys yet with the really big pockets? I think no, but maybe. If you can let me know in the comments, um, that would be great. Have you seen this before? Thanks. Um, okay, so my plans for November garment sewing wise. First up, um, I got some brown bottom weight fabric. This is the exact same fabric that I used to make the red high-waisted pants that you guys saw a few weeks ago. And I'm going to be making the same pattern. That is Simplicity 8457. I worked really hard on getting the pants to fit like you see in the red pants video. But I feel like there's still a couple little tweaks that I can make to make them even more perfect. And I really want to do that so that I have a go-to pair of pants that when I find a bottom weight that I love or I need a color of pant or whatever it is, I can just run and grab that pattern and it's already ready to go for me. Um, and I chose brown. I know that's like not a popular color for some reason, but I feel like brown goes with a lot of stuff. Um, and I really want kind of like a monochromatic brown and cream situation, which brings me to this beautiful double knit that they also had at Joanne. Look at that amazing, amazing texture. Um, this is what the wrong side looks like. Um, so you can see it's kind of smooth and you can use both sides. It's a little bit like a jacquard knit maybe. Um, they didn't call it that though, but it's so, so soft and it actually has quite a bit of drape to it. So initially I was like going to make my tried and true McCall 6992. I made two of these last month alone. If it gives you any ideas to how much I love this pattern so much. Um, but I'm also considering it, <coughs> the fabric, this fabric for So My Style. So So My Style this month is the Alley sweatshirt from So DIY. And it has a lot of different like seaming situations happening. There's a lot of seams. And so I don't know if I wanna break this up that much or if I just wanna have like a solid bodice for this beautiful fabric. So if I decide to not use that for the alley, then I pulled this out of my stash. I got this in maybe Boston, Boston or Montreal. I cannot remember which one. And it's not a French Terry. It's just a really thick jersey, I think. Um, I mean, maybe could be considered a French terry. I don't know. But it feels a lot more like sweatshirting than anything else. It's really, really thick and pretty stiff. And I think the reason why I haven't, it was very affordable, which is why I got it. Plus, I was on vacation and I was like, I really should get something to like remember this trip by. And so I grabbed this. But I think the reason why I haven't sewn anything with it yet is just because of the, I don't think I love this print. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. Um... It was really pretty on the bolt, but maybe not so much now that I have it home or now that it's been a couple of years. And so I thought if I could break up some of these roses and floral things happening, then maybe I would like it a little bit more. Um, so I might do this as well. This is all I have in my stash that would work for the alley or all that I'm willing to make work for the alley. I have others, but I don't wanna cut into those for that sweatshirt pattern. So. 
Um, I'm strongly leaning toward this because it's also kind of like a wearable muslin um, since I've never made it before. I mean, it's very loose fitting and kind of generous whenever it comes to fitting. So I'm not worried about that, but just in case something crazy happens, I wouldn't want to cut into some of my like super, super nice sweaters or anything like that. Um, so we might see about using that floral for the alley sweatshirt. Um, okay. So that's that, that, that I also got, where is she? I also got the black Ponty, black denim printed Ponty. So you guys remember the blue denim Ponty that I used for the itch to stitch mountain view pull on jeans. Um, that I made for the Style Maker Fabrics Fall Style Tour. I love them so much, so much, that I bought um, the black version of the fabric so that I could make a black pair. So I'll have blue jeans and black jeans. <laughs> really nothing about them are jeans. It's jeggings in a ponty knit. <laughs> so it's basically like ponty pants. Um, but so if I have time, I would love to go ahead and get those sewn up. I, the pattern fits really, really well, except for the rise is too high. Um, if you remember from that video, I told you I had to pretty much cut the waistband in half, um, in order for it to hit like not at my under boob. Um, so I have to sort that out, but other than that, everything else about that, uh, that pattern fit really, really well. So it should be a quick kind of alteration thing and then I can get to sewing really quickly. Plus I already sorted out everything that I need for my machine. I don't even think I'm gonna do top stitching because it's black and I think black top stitching goes with black uh, leggings and I, you don't need to futz around with top stitching thread if you don't want. I mean, maybe, maybe, I don't know, we'll see, I guess. We'll see how I'm feeling that day, but not a necessity, which would make the um, sewing time go cut down a lot. Um, you don't have to keep switching in and out of the threads. You can just leave in your stretch thread and you're good to go. So that's an option as well. I also did not finish my little athleisure um, set from last month. If you remember, it was the five out of four agility tank. I did um, get, I did get this far with the sports bra. <laughs> Um, so you can see I have this, it's all lined. There's power mesh inside. I opted for the option where you can put the little um, bra cups in there. So I have this done, not done. I need to do the bias binding and then the hem and then it will be done. Um, but I did not get to the ninja leggings and I did not get to the cardigan um, or the top. There's like a tank top that I wanted to do as well. So those are all really quick sews. It's just a matter of getting them cut out. So I um, still definitely want to do that because that's the kind of clothes I want to wear right now. <laughs> um, so we'll see if I can get to that in November as well. The other thing I want to tell you about is all of the um, new DIY tutorials that I'm going to be doing in November. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are 11 new DIYs coming to the channel. Some of them, well, they're all sewing related. Some require fabric, some don't. Um, some require sewing, some don't, but they're all sewing related. Um, I am doing, I don't know how much of this I wanna tell you guys about and how much I wanna keep a secret. Um, let me pick a couple that are really good. So I'm going to be um, showing you guys a cool, fun idea I have for taking a store-bought robe and turning it into like a sleep set with a robe, an eye mask, a scrunchie, the whole thing. So you buy one thing and then make three things out of the one thing. Um, so that's kind of cool and unique. I haven't seen a lot of people do anything about that. I'm also going to be making fabric coasters. Um, this is going to be a really cute, fun idea that I think will be really easy-ish. <laughs> it will be easy. It might be a little tedious. Um, so I'm excited about that one. I also have, I'm too excited about that one. I don't want to tell you about that one. Um, oh, I really like that one too. Oh, I'm going to be doing this. <laughs> I'll tell you about this one. I'm going to be doing a scarf with a hidden pocket where you can put like your gloves or even your cell phone. 
um, or like a candy or snack or something all in your scarf so that you don't have to like take your hands um, and dig around in your purse or whatever it is. You can keep your hands nice and toasty um, and then have it right there close to you. Um, so those are a few of the fun ideas I have. I really, really brainstormed and thought outside the box, I feel like for some of these. And so I hope that you all like them and want to make them. And, and more importantly, when you see them, I hope you think of someone in your life that will like them, you know, because then, then you'll be inspired to make it and you'll be excited to make it and give it away um, as a holiday gift. So, um, so yeah, those are my plans for November. So many good ideas. I'm so excited. Okay, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye!